During the campaign, they went into Florida, and there was a lady who said, when President Obama is president, he's going to pay for my car, he's going to pay for my rent, he's going to take care of all of my needs. Oh, come on, Pastor. Now, the problem is, President Obama, in January, will have been president for four years. And, and the reality is that that woman has still had to pay for her rent. She still had to pay for her Her expectation of what President Obama was going to do was different than what President Obama... Now, in fairness to the president, not really what his job is. And the reality is that that was sort of in the campaign, and that's how we do a lot of times with expectation. A lot of times, people will come into the Salvation Army and they'll say, can you help me with gas? Well, we don't do gas. <laughs> well, you're a Christian organization. You're supposed to help us. Yeah. What you come in and what you do and have your expectations that can change how you feel about a person after you assess those expectations. So Jesus has walked into the beginning of Holy Week. He's come in, and people are deeming him as king. And then he goes to the temple, and he starts to notice some money changers. And he's starting to look at money changers, and they start doing something. <laughs>
king who was meant to save them from human oppression, oppression, they were now putting on a cross to die because he did not deliver the way they wanted him to deliver. And you see, the thing is, Jesus, you're not him, Brown. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus came. Jesus came to die for our sins. And the good news is, as I said earlier, there's forgiveness. You can say it. That's hard. If you've ever tried that, just try it for five minutes. Jesus came in and and he died for us. Now, it's important to know, and you have to ask yourself, what is your expectation of God? And I asked the teenagers and, and the youth that were in Sunday school this morning, I said, what is, how do you determine what God's expectation of you is? And I told them, and uh, I said, I sure hope that you don't only get your expectations from what I say. God has appointed me to this appointment for a time such as this. Yes. But the reality is that God has given us a whole lot of other attributes. Number one, what can we know to expect of God? We can talk to God. We can ask God, God, what is your expectation of me? And you can go to God's Word. It's, it's a beautiful book. It's got beautiful things in it. It's such an encouraging thing. We can come and we can dive in and we can seek God daily. And then there are actually decent preachers out there. Still come hear me, but go listen to what other preachers are saying. Because they, they, they've dived in and they've studied. There's books. There's all sorts of things that can show us about God. But see, the reality is we have to be willing to make the effort. We have to be willing to decide that we indeed want we pay lip service to a lot of things. Uh -oh. We say we would like a lot of things. You know, um, this week um, on the news, which I'm sure most of you have heard about it, I mean, I, it, you must have been under a rock if you have not heard about it. The, the lottery was up to $640 million. And the reality is that they were talking about how a lot of people 